Hello and welcome to the Lee Valley Hockey Tennis and Se uh, Centre here on the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park in London. We're at the Unibet Euro Hockey Championships. While the opening game of uh, day two, this is the first match in men's pool B, sees the green machine of Ireland facing Les Bleus of France. Three Genestay brothers in the French squad. So away we go. Ireland, of course, in their green shirts. What other colour would they have picked against the French playing in their chain strip today of uh, white shirts, predominantly white shirts with the red sleeves. Now, up in the commentary box uh, with me for this one, I've got uh, Simon Mason. Oh, play, play, play. Play. Wins. Ireland immediately on attack, and what a start, Simon! What, what an amazing start, Nick, right from the pushback. Little bit of control, forced it through, and then the gap just opened. The French defence caught flat-footed, and it's the Irish within the first 30 seconds. Down the pitch, beautiful individual skill in the end to pop it over the top. Kyle Good seeing the keeper come off his line. Little open-handed slap. Good turn on the ball there and uh, played onto the French foot, but then all, almost wasted with a turnover pass. Now an opportunity here for France. Reverse stick shot comes in and uh, David Hart's gone to ground. Spread eagle there on the turf. Not the most uh, gamely of pieces of goalkeeping, but very effective. Here we see the ball across. There's the touch in front of Hart. Great body position, length of his arms. It just means the ball doesn't move as quickly off the stick as it might. Now what's that come off? That's come off a French stick. And France are back on terms there. Drilled in from distance. Is it Kivu who gets the final touch underneath his right foot? It's a lovely little reverse touch in front of Davy Hart. Nothing Hart could do. It's poor defensive lines inside the Irish circle. Look at that for creativity. Kiva knows the ball's going away from goal on the angle, has to open the face of the sting. So when it's coming into centre half, position like now where Cargo is, they can then step out and really press. And Cargo's been mugged here by the French, and a chance here, shot, goal for France. Poor defending from Ireland, and they're made to play there, Simon. What a strike for a finish. What a finish indeed. It's smashed by Martin Brissac into the back of David Hart's goal. It was Cargo who got robbed just as we're talking about that centre-half pressure. Pop and spin, in and high, right past Hart's right foot. Nothing that he could do. That's a lovely bit of skill to protect the ball. Out to the top of the circle. Shot comes in. Hart stretches out there. It stayed out, but it's, again, it's a real scramble by the Irish defence. Here we see the corner just outside that white line. Long pick and reach, opens the right hand up, and it is indeed Gormley down by his toes of those green shoes. Oh, a poor bit of defensive work, half chance here for Ireland. Scramble yes! by the French goalkeeper, and it's finished in the back of the net, and Ireland are back on terms, and the French will be kicking themselves. Some very ordinary defensive work going on there. It was good second phase from Peter Carew. Got into the goalkeeper once. It was indeed from the right hand side. Bit of crash ball into the circle. Takes a touch as it comes across there into the head of the D. Ball falls kindly. Peter Carew first phase into the goalkeeper. Second phase sees the channel, finds the far corner. That's better from the Irish on the left hand side. Good early ball into the circle. Is there something here? Good save by the goalkeeper. Can Ireland force over the line? Well, it's gone there. But I don't think the umpire is going to award the goal here, Simon. No, the umpire is going to video umpire's video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the yeah. the potential here. If Bruce, this can you hear me? Oh, well, yes, listen to the question. Down. Bruce, can you tell me whether the ball went over the line or, or did not go over the line? Oh, the knot of the net. And remember, the umpire video umpire's view yeah, has to be conclusive yeah, video, to be able to give the opinion. So far, yes, I'm not sure we have a camera angle. Ah. There is there. There's the ball. That last moment, fraction of a second, oh, okay. I think Bale I will it. go back to. I think he might give a goal. Tim, can you hear me? Yes, Bruce. I have a decision for you. It's a goal. The ball crossed the line. Goal stands. You, you heard it first from Simon. Hey, hey, hey stop! <laughs> That's a goal. Hey. That's a beauty. All along the deck and too hot for the French keeper. And Ireland have a two-goal cushion. Doesn't appear to go right in the corner. It looks like it's dragged out. Yeah, it is. Straight down the middle under his left foot. Goalkeeper unable to get his body down. Needed to kick through it more. Sinks back onto his heels. Straight down the middle. Big nutmeg. 
Well, often this is the most difficult to place of all, Sam, isn't it? It's not my fault, come on. Hey. French trying to work the way behind the Irish. Oh, Defense! Oh, oh my finish. goodness me! No chance for Hart that time. What a goal that was. Pops across, the ball's a bit loose, goes to air. The pick and spin, what a finish. Absolutely middle of the stick as it comes in. It's not particularly tidy. It comes away from, it's not like a control. That's a flash shot past the big man's right foot. Nothing that he can do. Spins away, crash. Just 20 seconds remaining. And here comes France. It's not over yet, Simon. Into the circle of the goal, what a pick. Timing from Connor Hart, had to stay on his man. Davy Hart behind him, I'm sure, would have been calling it, but what a take. And that's the ball game here. Ireland have done just enough. The French will feel frustrated by that, but Ireland have got the better of the French with the game that went to the, uh, the ranking form books, but it was oh so close. It's finished here. Ireland four, France three. What a start to Super Saturday here.